I'm going to share with you guys everything I know about how to make money with your YouTube channel as a beginner. I'm going to be open book, completely transparent, so check this out. You don't have to have a studio. Right now, I got a nice little loft with some decoration behind it, but my first videos, when I first started, I just shot myself in front of a white wall. I put a little plant on the side, a little LED on the side, and then that's all you have to do. Just keep this clean. Just find a corner in your room and just you know put a little light on it, put a little bit of decoration on it, and that's your spot. You don't have to have an amazing studio to have your YouTube video. So YouTube does have a minimum requirement for you to actually start being monetized, and that is to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 views. I know when you don't have any subscribers and you have no views, I know that sounds like a lot, but like I said, don't even think about it. Use that beginning phase as practice, as just getting prepared and just getting your feet wet. So obviously, even for me too, and I'm sure with every, a lot of people out there as well too, I'm sure the first sets of videos were just horrible. I know mine was. So don't think of it like, oh my gosh, it's a horrible video. I'm not going to upload it. Upload it. Just do it and upload it and it's going to get better. You're not going to get the views, but eventually you're going to get the views as you're putting more videos up and YouTube is seeing that you're serious and that you're really into making these videos and that you would be consistent. And the more consistent you are and more quality stuff, they start improving and getting better, the more YouTube will reward you with views and stuff like that. So another thing you need to prepare with is creating an AdSense account. AdSense is old school it's been around for a long time since google was around and that's google way of you creating ads for them so you need a website because if you want to have an amazon affiliate link which i'll talk about in the next uh, chapter is that that's how they know that you're serious if you don't have a website they're just gonna think like oh my god just a regular person just thousands of people requesting to become an affiliate that's gonna waste their time, it's gonna waste everyone's time, right? They don't wanna do that. They wanna make sure that you're serious and having a website is one way of showing that you're serious. But on top of that, having a website and posting your YouTube videos into your website increases SEO, it increases views. So when people are searching, for example, on how to take photos with your DSLR, then my website might pop out because I got descriptions, I got a YouTube video in there, and then when they go into it, then it will link to the YouTube video. It will link to some of my uh, Amazon affiliate links of the products, the cameras that I purchased and that I'm talking about. Having a website is something you need to do, but it will also help you increase your views. So definitely go to places like wordpress.com, blogger.com. I use WordPress. Keep your video somewhat short. Out of all my videos, I have 10 minute videos, 20 minute videos, and short ones and long ones and things like that, but most of the people would love to stick around for five to six minutes. That's like a, a sweet spot. So if you could keep it consistent of having five, six minute videos, then that's a great um, time for your YouTube video, right? We live in a world where everything needs to be quick, so you, know, you don't have to make a long video, and a long video doesn't equate to quality. Hit that like and subscribe button, right? I, I forget to say that, but you always have to say that when you make your video. You always have to say somewhere in the beginning part of the video, hit the like and subscribe button because if you don't remind them, they'll just forget. They'll just watch the video and move on. But if you actually say it, a lot of the people will be like, you know what? I will hit the like button and subscribe. So that actually helps out. So please, if you haven't yet, hit the like button and subscribe. All right, thank you. Another tip on getting views on your for your youtube video make your thumbnail as engaging as possible because a lot of us when we flip through our youtube app we're almost just looking at the thumbnail if the thumbnail is engaging and is exciting then you think to yourself "Ooh, i want to see what this is and you click on it so thumbnails are very important so if you don't know how to design then there's a lot of uh, websites that allows you to design it easily and if you really want help you could go to fiverr.com and hire somebody for like 5 10 15 bucks to make you a, a quick thumbnail so that way it's more engaging so having a attractive exciting eye catchy thumbnail is very important be consistent with your videos 
consistent in how many times you upload in a month. Four years ago I started, I wasn't only doing one video every three, four months. It's That's crazy, that's nothing. Over a year, that's only five, six videos. What a waste of time. I wanted to do it, I did it, but five videos in a year, that's crazy. That year was a waste, I didn't do nothing. I've only started making money when I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make a commitment. I'm gonna release three, four videos a month. Man, if you can make four videos in a month consistently, that's the key. That's the, the money-making algorithm key right there. One video every week on the same day. And that's how a lot of the professional uh, podcasters and the influencers are doing. They're always releasing their stuff every Monday afternoon. Last year, I made a video about photography tutorial. I got a thousand view and it just went dead. No views for six months. And then within this past four months or so, I started making my videos. I'm like, I'm gonna make all these YouTube videos, the Tesla videos, and I was being serious about it, commenting on everybody, replying to everybody. And then when they saw that, when YouTube saw that, YouTube took that old video, a, a photography tutorial flash video, and from 1,000 view in one month, I think I'm up 100,000 views. Another fun tip on how to get views is that once you're done making your YouTube video, watch your own YouTube video. Watch it all the way through to the end, then give yourself a thumbs up. You're giving yourself a little bit of a kick, you know, of on your back going downhill. You're like, let me give it a little bit of boost. And you're just giving yourself a little bit of shove so that YouTube is like, okay, okay, someone watched the video. Someone hit the like button. What is this all about? So I highly recommend doing that. And I have to admit, when I, before, you know, last year, I wasn't doing that. I, it wasn't really working. But ever since I've started doing that, I've been feeling, I've been seeing a little bit of view improvements. So watch your own video and like your own video. So the first thing you obviously have to do is after making all the websites and you started making some practice YouTube videos and so on and you kind of get the flow going, you're not gonna make money day one. You, you can, but you want those first phase to be just practice and to get yourself started. You need to make yourself an Amazon affiliate link. And to make an Amazon affiliate link, they also want you to be serious too, right? So they want you to, they want to make sure that you have a website, that you have maybe a social media account that is connected to your theme. The website doesn't even have to be that great. They just want to make sure that you got something, that you're not just, you know, some random person that's just wasting Amazon's time to try to get an affiliate link for nothing, right? That you are actually serious about it and you want to start making commission because you make an average of 4% commission on Amazon affiliate links. So make sure you have a website, free website through WordPress or any other websites that's out there. And if you put the Amazon affiliate links on your website and people click on it, you will get a 4% on that link. And make yourself an account. ClickBank is another great option for you to have. ClickBank is another affiliate link. All right, so another way of making money is having a Teespring account. This is a free account for you to make t-shirts and make a commission out of it. So I have this t-shirt right here. If you're interested in a Tesla Model 3 t-shirt, I have the uh, Teespring link below. You could even just take a look at it. Before, to make t-shirts, you would have to hire a company, have it pre-made boxes, and then you would have to mail it out. Now it doesn't work, even work that way. You could have companies like Teespring have an account, upload a graphic, when they and then sell it you will make a commission out of it so for example they need a minimum a t-shirt they need to make about 12 bucks 13 bucks 16 bucks minimum for that t-shirt for all their work right so you need to sell it a little bit more so your t-shirt needs to be like 27 dollars 30 dollars you know and so on and then you can make from six bucks five bucks ten dollars per sale all right guys so my last information about youtube on how to make money is that once you start getting subscribers and once your videos are getting views you're going to become an influencer right there's going to be companies out there that's going to contact you and say hey you know i want to send you this i want to send you that can you make a video for us and then in return we'll let you keep that item or even pay you you know that's what it's all about in the very end right we're all just making videos to share our passion so that we could have this video that will live on online forever for our kids to see. We get to have fun doing it. We get to network and meet people all around the world. 
I mean, there's so many things that, that is so beneficial into starting your own YouTube channel. You'd have to do it. I definitely recommend it. So, guys, if you haven't yet, go out there, make that first video. Don't make it perfect. Just do it and upload it. And and don't and then just take one step at a time. Don't think about the end goal. Don't think about the high quality video cameras and LED lights and, and multiple shooters and multiple angles. Don't even think about all that. One step at a time. Get that camera, get that phone camera, get the tripod, film yourself. Forget the tripod. Just hold it and just film yourself talking. You know, so go out there, make your dreams come true, live the life that you deserve, make the money. Ah, so many great things to talk about when it comes to like doing this, right? Do it. You can do it. Don't ever think that it's saturated. I'm making money. You can make the money too. And I want you to make the money, okay? So please, don't be a wimp. Don't be a procrastinator. Don't be lazy. Make that first YouTube video. Don't make it perfect. Just upload and keep doing it. All right, so if you watched it all the way through, thank you so much. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you next time.